white people, you guys got to get this before it's too late. You know, and don't listen to the mockers and the scoffers and all of the clowns that come to the page to say nothing is real because they not real. They in denial about the truth. Okay, so to the left we have fires. So I got one uh, torch that's burning and I got some small fires underneath there and those are small torches that's burning. And then to the right is Nibiru. And as you can see in comparison to the fire that it is on fire. And what God has to say about that in the book of Isaiah 66, 15, he says, for behold, the Lord will come in fire, in the fire. And his chariots are like whirlwinds. And everybody seeing the beard will go around in a circle like a whirlwind and they wondering what that is. He will bring down his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire and we know those to be those brimstones we know those to be meteorites we know those to be the hell fire coming from above that he's going to rain down like he said on uh the magog and his armies revelations 18 2 and number eight babylon the great is fallen is fallen and it's become the habitation of devils and that's what we are that's what I keep trying to tell people and people don't get it because maybe you're one of the devils uh, demons have possessed pretty much all of America you are not even talking to people anymore and I know people don't understand it because people don't believe in God but those of us who know we know we ain't talking to humans no more demons are possessing them just like they did in the time of Jesus and basically these are devils and it says and the hold of every foul spirit and foul spirits these people are wicked and evil why do you think they do so much wrong because they devils therefore shall her plagues come in one day so basically it is uh, prophesied that America is going to be destroyed in one day and her death and mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burned with fire for strong is the Lord God who judges her so watch this we already got plague and famine you know and that's the pale horse and that's what's happening over there in Puerto Rico huh but don't Puerto Rico look like uh, Venezuela huh? and all the rest of those islands that uh, Hurricane Harvey and the other hurricanes tore up they, they, I mean, these places are starting to mimic, even uh, Miami was starting to mimic Venezuela, you know, and pretty soon it's all going to turn into Venezuela or even worse because it's going to be, it's, look how many people, like, it's millions of people in California, millions, I don't know if it was like 40 million, I don't know how many people, it's a lot of people in California. You know, what happened when, the, when when something big hit California and the trucks can't come in and the food stopped coming in? The Californians will eat each other. Second Peter's uh, 3, number 12. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. We see the fire. Anybody who want to look to the left, I mean to the right of this video, look to the right because those on the left hand side is going to the fire. But look to the right and you will see that uh, these are the heavens and these are the firmaments and they are on fire. They on fire. And it ain't because they so close to our, our hemisphere or something like that and it's catching fire. No. They've been on fire. And all of the government agencies been watching them you know and now is the time that it's all about to go down everybody should get ready you know you pretty dumb right now if you're not ready with with the Lord and you stay dumb until you burn because people think that they're gonna play a game with God you're not you don't play games 2nd Thessalonians 1 number 8 in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God. So the only way you're going to know God is you open up the scriptures and you study. And like he said, you prove yourself true. 
you know, study to show yourself approved. You open up them scriptures and you study. It didn't say listen to the pastor. You know, you got to open it up and see for yourself. Luke 12, 49. And I come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? And it is. This is what we're seeing to the right of the screen. Let's not play a game like these are meteorites. They, they not. Let's not play a game like these ain't permanents with a fiery tail. And that's why I said it withdrew a third of the stars and flung them to earth. We finna run into this debris till uh, some people, just watch out, uh, had it pegged that it was going to hit us on um, uh, September the 23rd and we're in October and then somebody got it pegged that it's going to hit us on October the 3rd or the 5th or something like that well, we'll see but we don't know usually they have been wrong because God's going to do it when God want to do it because God is showing everybody he's in control of this you know so the fire is already kindled Revelation 6 8 and I looked and beheld a pale horse so behold, a pale, pale horse. And then think when it said Babylon was falling. It said, therefore shall her plagues come in one day. That is the pale horse. That's the sickness. You know. And then she shall be utterly burned with fire. And listen to this. Revelation 6, 8. And I look and behold a pale horse. There is a sickness. And his name that sat on him was death. And people are going to be dying. And hell followed with him. And people are going to be going to hell that fire that's coming you know one of those is a hell fire and it is you know so we got a hell beneath us and I've been telling people and like I said I'm the only one who preaching this and I don't, I'm not taking one word back because I don't have to I'm right Rev and, and people get mad at that because you say you're right because they think you're cocky or something I'm not cocky at all I'm just right Revelations 12 3 and there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon so having seven heads do you know uh, it's a, a, a great red dragon so here you go a fiery planet with firmament the fiery firmament seven heads uh, do you know Nibiru got seven moons seven circling it I have the video of it and I pointed it out you know uh, they deleted my other uh, account with all of that information on it. They made sure they deleted every video because I'm they, uh, uh, the demons that is uh, running YouTube are at war with me. But they can only do what God allowed them to do. They can't do no more to me than that. And so God allowed them to delete that account. You know, but God gonna bless me anyway because. Uh, they can take away the money like I said and I'm going to still preach the message because it, it ain't about the money at the end of the day it's about salvation and I already know this information and my family already know this information I'm being very kind and charitable giving it to you and I am every single day that I can give it to you I give it to you and I'm not asking you for a dime you know, I ain't saying, well, I'm giving to you at the price of donations. No, if anybody wills to make a donation, just make one. You know, because I'm giving from my heart, kindly. I don't have to. I could keep all this information to myself and just let you blow up. But this is kindness. I'm saying, look, I'm trying to save you and your family. You know, and that's what we as believers do for each other is just be kind. And don't let the world look down on that. I was looking at um, Puerto Rico, and I was looking at whoever the woman was, the spokeswoman, the senator, whoever she was, when she was saying, I, I, I'm doing something I, I, I regret doing. I never wanted to do this before. I never thought I would have to do that, but I'm begging. Everybody turned their head and looked down because she said, I'm begging. And what is she begging for? She said, I want to say, she's standing around. If you look at the video, she's standing around a bunch of food and supplies. 
but she said I'm begging for my people I don't want my people to die you know and you think Donald Trump give a damn no he don't he's playing golf he's doing the same thing George Bush did in Hurricane Katrina he did not give any aid because it was mostly black people that lived in New Orleans and if people didn't know it's like I said uh, more than half of the black population was murdered executed and, and, and if people didn't know the hurricane didn't even hit um, New Orleans it went by New Orleans and then they opened up the levees and drowned all them people yeah it may have been raining yeah it may have had high winds but no hurricane actually hit uh, New Orleans you know they liars and so um, just like I said I, I respect that woman because she said she mad as hell for half in the big when Puerto Rico was supposed to be a part of the USA but it ain't when you in need I told you how the devil work the devil look down on people who are reaching out for charity or need a handout or need some help or some aid the devil looks down on that in his society of uh, arrogancy you know and so do the people with devils in them you know people with the spirit of God in them give from the bottom of their heart and they'll give to anybody with love and not expecting anything in return not even a handshake or a congratulations or thank you that's how I give so Revelations 12 3 and there appeared another wonder in the heavens and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head and it is so beautiful and I know the destruction is coming with uh, Nibiru but if you look at it it is so beautiful to see that that the seven planets circling this one planet and and then uh, it's almost like a beautiful design that God made but it's death you know and you can see uh, the meteorites and all this huge tremendous dust uh, cloud that it's in uh, and his tail drew a third part of the stars of the heavens which we know know as meteorites and did cast them to the earth so we supposed to be running into this tail second Peter 310 but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night so when people say okay it's gonna be on the 23rd okay it's gonna be on the 5th we don't know they don't know they uh, are doing guesstimations because God's saying most people ain't gonna know when it comes and a watchman like me and I, I'm a hell of a watchman you know if not the best because I stay on my job 24 7 and I look for everything you know if anything looks out of place I'm reporting it you know anything major I don't report stupid shit uh, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise so when these meteorites is coming they make huge noises and the elements shall melt with fervent heat you know and the earth also and the works that are in there shall be burned up so fire is coming to this earth to burn it up we're seeing that to the right of the screen you know and I'm showing you the difference between the fire to the left and the fire to the right but I'm showing you the fire to the left for a reason because many people come and say these are I mean you know where I get most of these video at UFOs come on it's clearly they are fires but people are saying they are UFOs no not in the slightest that's death you know and the plagues is coming or the plagues is already here and we finna see some things that we never saw before wrap the news